name's Tamara Chambers. And I'm Brad Jones. And this is Tamara's Never Seen. And today we are watching the 1995 classic Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Only on a show like this am I the appropriate person to be reviewing this movie. Because <laughs> I've never seen it either. It was toughy to get something that both of us hadn't seen, mainly you. We actually did find a couple of things, yeah. but they were like the two of the only movies that are not streaming anywhere right now. Yeah. And jokingly, you said like, I don't know, it could be something dumb like the Power Rangers movie. <laughs> they go, like I actually grew up watching the show. My brother and I would dress up as the Power Rangers. Yeah. We loved the show, but mm -hmm. I never saw the movie. This came out when I was Four. So I just, I didn't see it in theater. Well, I was 14 when this movie came out. So I, it, at 14, I felt like I was a little too old for this. So at 37. <laughs> <laughs> I, the perfect guy. Power Rangers was a couple of years past. Like my time really, like I was in the class at school where it like wasn't cool to watch Power Rangers. If I was a little bit younger, it might've been something I was maybe into. But totally, yeah. It, it was, it just, Really, it, it just went by me. Having loved it growing up, I do feel like I'm a little nervous to go into it. I feel like I'm not going to enjoy it that much. No, no, this is gonna be timeless. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those movies oh. where you'd be like, it works for every decade. I can't tell when this was made. We better like this because I think Amy Jo Johnson is at the convention we're going to this weekend. It's gonna be really awkward if this turns out bad. We're gonna have to go up and confront her. Ooh. Amy. Amy. We're not mad, we're disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's even worse. Will you snack with me on three? Mm-hmm. Okay, one, two, three. I was wrong about this being timeless. <laughs> you know what this movie is? Do you remember the episode of The Simpsons where they go to the Quickie Mart and they Bart has $20 and he gets the slushy that's only made just entirely of syrup? That's this movie. I I've only I've seen season one of season. Oh, okay. Gotcha. <laughs> he just gets one made of just like pure sugar and they go on a big sugar binge. Oh, yeah, And then they okay. crash by the end. He wakes up and he's joined the junior campers by mistake. Much <laughs> like us sad. after watching this movie. Oh, my God. I loved it. <laughs> and hated it simultaneously. I loved some of the cheesiness of it. Like, sure. Th it's like they had a, a, a guidebook of terrible 90s catchphrases and oh. every other line they were like, oh, here's a good one. Oh, oh, Fossil <laughs> Man, I've got a bone to pick with you. <laughs> oh, like, oh, even if they're just by themselves, like, if they're just saying a one-liner, like, just all alone, like, he takes one to no one. Yeah. Like, I said that to no one. Like, reading a book in their bathtub. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Wait, what? Yeah, it's, it's one of those movies where for your heroes, all of their lines can be followed up by uh, the, the other person just going, you can say that again. <laughs> totally. And with the villains, the, all of their lines could easily be, hero says something and villain would go, yeah, right. <laughs> and it has such a, I don't know if it's nostalgia or I just have a sweet spot for it, but I yeah. loved that. I also loved the music and all of the sound cues. Oh my God. Okay, if there was anything surprising about this movie, it was a couple of choices on the soundtrack. <laughs> Some of it makes sense. Like you expect, I got the power to be in a movie like this. Yeah, yeah. The ending credits where it's playing like a club remix of Kung Fu fighting. Right, of course. <laughs> there was a couple times like, I was not expecting there to be like this skate sequence where they're playing Edgar Wintergroup's free ride during this. <laughs> like it's, if I close my eyes, I'm listening to the soundtrack of a Rob Zombie film. <laughs> All they did were extreme sports. Oh yeah. Diving out of an airplane and then intensely rollerblading everywhere. Yeah. It's amazing. Keep on and take a free ride. At the end, it's playing Dreams by Van Halen. Yeah. <laughs> like, All right, hell yeah. You got me, movie. This truly <laughs> is what dreams are made of. <laughs> Remember my favorite thing about this movie coming out was that critics reviewed it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Siskel and Ebert reviewed this film. And we give Mighty Morphin Power Rangers two thumbs down. The lighting was terrible. I couldn't see anything happening at I, all. I couldn't tell if that was because of the movie or because of the quality of the copy of the movie we watched. I, so I don't enjoy 
streaming movies illegally. I yeah. that's so lame of me to say out loud, but like I really just I'll pay the three dollars to rent the oh, sure. movie. And we couldn't find this anywhere, so it was on YouTube, and all, the only way we could watch it is on YouTube for free, yeah. with Indonesian subtitles the whole way through. So it was very grainy, and I think it helped some of the like CGI you were saying. <laughs> it kind of did a little yeah. bit. I'm like, well, I think it's to this movie's benefit we are not watching this on Blu-ray right now. <laughs> I was trying to think, like, am I really that above this movie, really? Because I was thinking back <laughs> to things I did like back then, so yeah. in my head, I'm comparing it to like the first two Ninja Turtles movies. Yeah. But I was also thinking, it's like, did I enjoy those because I was the right age at the time? Certainly. But there are things about those movies that are legitimately way better than this film. Yes. At the very least, those movies do look theatrical. Yes, yeah, there's such a difference between <laughs> yeah. the, the cinematography of those films and this film. Also, you get, I know that you get a lot of like character development from the Power Rangers in the show, and then they expect you have seen that, and now you're watching the movie, so you know them. But like, in those movies, you got so much character work yeah. on April O'Neil and oh, yeah. Casey, Casey Jones. Jones, and you got to know them really well. It sets up that world too. It's a really gritty kind of universe. Yeah, too. oh, it's cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it just like it, the puppetry looks really cool, and uh -huh. like I will give it that. The costumes and the makeup in this are pretty interesting yeah. and engaging. Um, and like the names, you know, Ivan Ooze. <laughs> the most insufferable part is the robot saying "I, I, I" a million times. <laughs> Stop it. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's never gonna happen. I was thinking that too through this. I'm like, I don't know, maybe fans of this show will will get this callback joke. Yeah. Visually speaking speaking, like there are different kinds of effects that are in this movie versus the show. Yeah. But it is still acted like a Saturday morning television yeah, series. Yeah. Like through and through. The acting does not change really from the show totally. over to this. Even a lot of the lighting is as well. Because I saw the 2017 one. Right. And I kind of liked it just fine. And yeah, that I, movie, it. I understand why that movie took about 80% of it to set up the characters in right. the movie. Like quite a bit of that movie is about character building. Yeah. And I, I liked that about the movie then. I really like it now <laughs> because it almost seemed to be doing that to make up for this film. Because <laughs> <laughs> I still, I remember bits and pieces from watching the shows yeah. of like different things for the different characters. And like you, they were built up for sure. Uh -huh. And that like, it was such a phenomenon, the show. So they're yeah. like, yeah, well you've seen the show when you see the movie, sure. So they didn't put anything in though, which is a little weird. Like you get nothing on these characters. Yeah. Like they're introduced by a catchphrase, like mm -hmm. Bazinga, surf up. <laughs> <laughs> if ever there was an example of what they say about a lot of 90s, like comic book movies, that a lot of them were geared more towards building up the villains and yeah. less the heroes, this movie is like the prime example it's of perfect. that. perfect. The villains are set up in this movie. Might as yes. well, they spent so much money on the makeup, we're showing that stuff. I love it. <laughs> there are those kind of villains, that, like we were talking about this when we were watching it, where it's like, kind of like Hocus Pocus rules where they existed like a thousand years ago, but they get all of our slang and references. <laughs> They're like super in to the point where he references the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I forgot about that. But yeah, he, he, he takes a shot at the Brady Bunch. I'm yeah. like, movie, are you really sure you want to be throwing shade at the Brady Bunch? <laughs> you can't throw shade at anything. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been so funny and random if, because I think this movie's like a PG if because it's theatrical, how like jarring it would have been if they allowed like one curse word. It's like, well, the shit's hitting the fan. <laughs> or like the Power Rangers show up and Ivan News is like, oh, f yeah. <laughs> This is embarrassing to say because I shouldn't have, but I had a hard time following the plot of this movie. It just, I was so focused on the stupid catchphrases uh -huh. and just the cheesiness was just hard to wade through. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't know, why were they fighting dinosaur fossils? Yes. Where did that come from? Dinosaurs, they're at the Legends of the Hidden Temple at the end. Uh, <laughs> there's, watching this movie, I was like, people need to start going easy on Batman and Robin. <laughs> like, at least, you know what, yeah. as dumb as Batman and Robin is, because oh. really, both movies kind of feel like they're in the same universe. Definitely. <laughs> I yes. love Batman and I Robin. I do too. Like, Batman and Robin, at least, like, say what you will about how dumb it is, it does take time out for plot to happen. Absolutely. <laughs> you know what's happening. It's a three episode sequence of Power Rangers that yeah. they turned into a movie and were like, uh -huh. cool, excellent. We'll just put this in theaters. Yeah, it's just a one fight scene to another, to another, to another, to another, and that's really just the movie. Yeah. That, 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 that is it. It kind of made it feel really 
long, it to be did. honest. Well, we first like paused it for a moment and yeah. only 30 minutes had gone by and it was mm -hmm. like, how is that science? How is that possible? Oh, that's okay. I think one of the Rotten Tomatoes reviews was also, how is this science? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of this brought me back to watching the show and if I would have seen this in 95, I think I would have loved it. Yeah. And watching it now, it, it certainly hasn't aged well, though I did <laughs> enjoy some aspects of it. That newer movie that came out, yeah. it's, it's a better written movie. It's a better pace movie than this. It has better characters in it than this movie does. But they are both different movies for different scenarios. Yes, yeah, yeah. If you're getting together and you have a group of friends together and you're all drinking or something, you probably don't want to put on the 2017. You want to watch this mess. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I wish I was at like a critic screening for this back in 95. What was that conversation like after this movie? One million percent. <laughs> thank you so much for joining me. Of course, and thank sitting you. sitting through this Indonesian, uh, subtitled YouTube ripoff Power it Rangers. It worked out in so many ways because neither of us had seen it. We were also looking for something that was only 90 minutes. Yeah, yeah. So that's really what we got out of it is a movie yeah. that was 90 minutes. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next week. Bye. Great. Do you think you're going to watch the second one? No. <laughs> <laughs>